Hello Facebook, YouTube, the day of Michael the Archangel, God is our, the one who is like unto God. Nope, not soul day. It's not soul day. Soul wasn't at the beginning of uh, Genesis and did not create no days. God was. The God of the, uh, Israel was there at the beginning and created the days. But that's another message. But the topic of the message that was, uh, I was meditating on this idea. And the topic of this message is called the reality of the Romans 3-4 code that I see a lot of human beings do not understand this code. Uh, the Romans 3-4 code. I don't think I did a video of this. I probably did a message teaching this. But let me introduce y'all to the uh, Romans 3-4 code. Because y'all need that introduction. The way I see people and I hear people talk. You know. Because I hear. You know. I'm tired of people uh, uh, whining about people lying on them. You know what I'm saying. I'm like. It drives me nuts when I hear a person say. Oh this person lied to me. He lied to me. She lied to me. They lied to me. And they whine and cry about people's whining and crying. Sounds like. Uh, immaturity concerning you know the flesh you know in a fleshly uh, ideal of immaturity hey, going on yes uh, a fleshly immaturity is what's going on here you know that you are whining and crying about people lying on you um Romans 3 4 is in the Bible Romans 3 4 you know what I'm saying that's all. Romans, Romans 3 4. That's all I, I'm going to say. I'm not going to sit up here and blah, blah, blah. Oh, she said this. Oh, he said that. Or he da, 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 da. No. Mac is going to say um, Romans 3 4. That's it. Romans 3 4. Uh, it, in the conversation of you whining and you're disappointed that you can't believe somebody lied to you. Well, the Word of God showed you that God be true and every man be a liar. I mean, if you do not want to believe that reality or you do not want to believe that idea and you want to still play stupid about being shocked and surprised that somebody uh, lied to you, you're, you want to be a fool. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. And the thing is, that's what you are, a fool. Because, I mean, the, it's, it's clearly says that, you know, men... And, you know, and the idea of, I tell people of uh, uh, Psalms 51 that David tried to show you why men will always sin and, and make mistakes. They're born in sin, shaped with iniquity. And they're shocked. People are shocked that people, let me see here. You ready for this, what people are shocked about when they, know, when they meet people? And they shocked that people has did them wrong. Yes, they people get shocked. Oh, she did me wrong. Oh, he did me wrong. Well, I mean, uh, King David tried to tell you that people are born in sin and shaped with iniquity. You know what I'm saying? And they 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 got this disease of sin inside of them. Why are you still shocked of people doing you wrong? And and now and now they're shocked and now they don't like to be done wrong to so they do that person wrong and they expect a right outcome to come out of this of them doing them they doing you wrong and you doing wrong back at them they expect something right to come out of this you know and then something watch this surprisingly to their eyes something wrong came out the outcome <gasps> how could this wrong thing happen when I when somebody does something wrong to me and I done something wrong to them how can wrong wrong plus wrong equal wrong I, you know people are shocked that you know that something wrong happened when I, something wrong has been done you know, that is supposed to be the teller tape of 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, that the God of this world has blinded the minds of men, got people, you know, thinking that you can do something wrong to somebody else, and somebody else can do something wrong to you, 
and a good outcome can come out of it. <laughs> wow, the deception of Satan. Wow, how deceived people can be is what I sit back and watch. You know, looking at people, listening to people conversation, and they're just shocked. How could that person do? You know, but God tells me, say, Mac, it's because of the flesh. You know, people, you know, are concerned about their flesh. They're trying to uh, preserve, more likely, their feelings, you know. And they felt hurt. They felt bad because someone did them bad. And, you know, and they feel that something bad should happen to that person. And, you know what I'm saying? But, oh, they don't want to talk about, you know, uh, they're not into Ephesians 6 and 12, you know, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and spiritual weakness in high places. Guess what they're doing when you do this stupid stuff and get mad at people and hurt people and talk bad about people? They're laughing at you. You are a joke to them. I mean, uh, they're like, uh, we tricked you, uh, we deceived you. The evil, the Satan's kingdom of darkness is just laughing at y'all and looking like stupid fools coming in a uh, disagreement with one another and, you know, and they just going to keep toying with y'all until y'all, you know, screw up your life and other people's lives around you. You know, that's what the kingdom of darkness is doing at y'all, laughing at y'all. Y'all look stupid to them, but you're being stupid technically in a spiritual world viewpoint in the kingdom of heaven concerning the battle between light and darkness, y'all look like idiots fighting against one another when the evil spirits are instigating you know, y'all to get in confusion, conflict, and chaos. Y'all look like idiots. I'm just saying, y'all are looking like idiots because y'all don't know the Romans in 3-4 code. God be true, every man be a liar, and I guess Psalms 51 code. You know, um, people born in sin shit with iniquity. Don't get shocked. Somebody did you wrong. You know what I'm saying? But the way is supposed to be done that Jesus showed you because he's the way, the truth, and the life is forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do because they know not what was going on concerning Satan and his kingdom of darkness is instigating all these bad activity going on to keep people in darkness just like the ideal I talked about in 2 Corinthians 4 and 4. Satan will blind you and you just killing each other. And guess what? You kill this person and another idiot comes out. And another idiot gets mad at you. And another idiot wants to fight you. And another idiot wants to tear, kill you and want to kill your other people. And y'all look like stupid fools fighting for nothing. Really fighting for nothing because if you're fighting for something based on the earth, and the earth is without form, void, darkness. You're really fighting for nothing. And you, matter of fact, you don't own this world. This world doesn't belong to you. You know what I'm saying? You, you, Job said you came with the world naked with nothing. Naked with nothing. And you're going to leave naked with nothing. So you really come out with nothing. Really. But a, probably a trip to hell. But the thing is, it's just stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's really stupid to be about, you know, flesh and blood conflict from a kingdom perspective so I hope you understand this reality you know and and I hope I, I try to apologize for you know calling you an idiot but guess what I can call you an idiot and you get mad at me but if you keep performing like one you're going to in reality continue to be an idiot that's why I'm just keeping it real 100 because 99 and a half won't do because I represent the kingdom of God and you need to be about the light you need to be about the light, shining bright, showing the light of love. People need a light of love, and that's what it means, because that's what Jesus is talking about. Love your enemies. Bless those that curse you. Pray for them who spitefully use you. Uh, Matthews 5 and 4 and 4. All right, that's the message. I hope you got the code. I hope you operated by it. If you don't, you're going to still become an idiot. All right, that's the message. God be the glory here forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.